All right. Hello, YouTube. So this weekend, Worlds, um, the Grixis midrange deck took down the World Championship, and it was similar to this list. There's, I'm going to be walking through the changes that I'm basically making to adapt it for best of one. And uh, in tournament play, basically, there was a ton, a ton of Esper midrange. So um, in the World Championship deck, the core is basically made up of four Corpse Appraisers, four Blood Tithe Harvesters, four Fables, four Invoke Despairs, two two Shieldreds, and then um, for the spells, we have Make Disappear, Infernal Grasp, and two Bank Busters. Oh yeah, and Cut Down. So they were running um, a Braid, two Braids, and two Duresses, which we replaced with um, basically Voltage Surge instead of the two Braids, because the Braid is really good against other people running Bank Buster. And I'm not really sure how much of the meta is going to be uh, comprised of mid-range decks compared to Celestia Enchantments and Mono White and the Mono Blue deck, etc. So this works better for getting rid of that like Naturalist, etc. Um, and then also I decided to run two Soul Transfers instead of the two Duresses. Because if you're up against Mono White, the Duress is just a complete whiff and complete miss. Um... Similarly to the World Champion, we're going to be running three Infernal Grasps. And then uh, they were running three Make Disappears. We're going to be running four. Basically, I'm choosing to run a fourth Make Disappear over Liliana. And um, we're going to be trying out one Urtai Resurrected instead of a third Shieldred. Just because I feel like the Shieldred is... Um, easier to counter and so it's going to be a little bit more on the control side of things we'll see how it goes uh, like I said the majority of the core is still there it's just that eight flex spots and then I, I decided to run Ottawara which I think works well against Celestia enchantments for uh, bouncing their their uh, enchantment removal and basically he, they ran two um, abandoned Myers instead of one and didn't run like a Rafine's tower so ours is technically one more blue and one less black from the world championship deck and i think that makes sense considering we're running uh, a blue black card here instead of three shieldreds and then also one more make disappear instead of liliana the veil so um things to consider though for your own tweaking i think that rona's vortex is a very interesting card that could be run instead of the voltage surges or instead of the infernal grasps or maybe take out a couple make disappear infernal grasps for the two of them uh there's a spot to a debate about whether or not to put a third cut down in i decided not to so hello shock um we're basically so it's very similar, very similar deck, very similar mana, which uh, there is a ton of rare lands in this deck list. So we'll see how how it goes. I think that one of the decks that it's going to struggle with and uh, might actually be a fair amount of the meta is the mono blue tempo deck or the Delver deck. Um, very curious to see how this runs. I don't think it's going to be better at climbing the ladder than the mono white deck or the mono black deck. But I think it's going to be a refreshing little change to run a uh, Grixis midrange. And like I said, to celebrate Halloween and the World Championship, thought I'd give it a try. So with that, let's get started. All right, so once again, we have all three colors. The tap lands, entering tapped. If you have one of these and then a pain land, you can do a take a, a turn, uh, a turn to make disappear. I think what we're going to be doing though is we're going to be just cut down an infernal grasp on whatever they play. Thalia is definitely got to die. Thalia makes it so that everything costs one more, as far as spells go. So. 
we're up against the mono white deck, which is what I showcased last week. And um, it's it's a hard deck to fight against. I think this is one of the better decks in the meta right now. And we can exile the Guardian of New Benalia, which we might have to do. Yeah, I'm going to go with just exiling Guardian. We just got to slow th things down as much as we possibly can. Guardian, they can discard a card to make it indestructible, so we have to get it just out of here. And it, it stops their hopeful initiate from training while we develop our board. Okay. So turn five, we want to be able to play Invoke Despair, so this is a good round for the tap land. Um, unless we're going to do something for four, and we're not, so we can play the Fable, get the 2-2 two -two token here, which can at least trade with the hotshot mechanic. If we slow things down enough, we'll survive. I think I want to do that trade. That's not a good sign for us. Um, we could discard the pain land because we already have red. Hey, another one. Okay. Invoke to spare here is pretty nice because it gives us a lot of card draw but so is the harvester and then infernal grasp well it depends on what we're going to do if we're going to if we're going to do this and this then we should play the tap land i think we're going to do that so let's um play that tapped Play Harvester here. And then destroy. We may want to hold. Well, the fact that they both train is no good. Take the two damage. The problem is that they could play something really nasty that we, we want to get rid of. Ah, we controlled them to victory. Bwahaha. <laughs> All right, well, that's good that it won against Mono White. That's very good. All right, so with this and then this, we do have the turn two make, dis make disappear, which is good. Got all of our colors. We counterspell something of theirs, and then we exile it with Corpse Appraiser. It's kind of the strategy. 15%. So um, do you draft at all? Because every, uh, I think it's the most efficient way to get cards. As far as increasing your collection. So we, I mean, counterspell it, then we play... Corpse Appraiser. It will ding us for some damage here with the Pain Land, but we get rid of their Blitz card and it allows us to look at our next options. Okay, so we have we have removal for days, so I'm going to go with the Fable. We already have Infernal Grasp and Soul Transfer. Trespasser. Well, Graveyard Trespasser is a pain. Hopefully we draw land and makes them have to sacrifice. I could also go for it, but we'd have to discard. Okay, that's not good.
All right, so this is decent though. Now we've got good good cards. We don't need to do anything. So we play this out, and then one black, two black, three black. So they we can play Invoke Despair, which is the important thing. All right, so we'll play this out, and then we will attack. And then we are going to have to take damage from the Graveyard Trespasser. Ah, uh, okay, mullet. That's good. Yeah, using using your gold for drafts, I think, is in the end more cost efficient. Okay, so now we can voltage surge, which is pretty tempting. Oh, dang it, I don't have any creatures. Soul Transfer can get back creatures. This is pretty ideal for a Voltage Surge moment. And then we discard probably the, the Reef here. Yes. Sacrifice. If they have something, then this can be really bad. Okay, so we're starting to just completely... Uh, do we need to play this? I guess we'll play it so that we can Infernal Grasp. Okay, so we could Infernal Grasp here and discard our Soul Transfer. Um, I don't think we need to, though, because we'll get to discard here. Oh, perfect. We drew an um, Invoke Despair. Uh, could get rid of this. Eh, that's okay. I don't know if this will hurt me or not. This might hurt me. I think it will. Boom! GG's. Hey, we're already up to platinum on day one. Let's go. Um, <laughs> this is nerve wracking because all we have is two pain lands. We're still going to Voltage Surge anything that they play. We'll go here. Okay, Modern Age. We would It would have been nice if we had the uh, counter spell there. I still think that the 4 make disappear I like instead of the 2 or Tie Resurrected. Okay, Rite of Harmony. Interesting. Okay, so we can play Fable without hurting ourselves, which is nice. <laughs> the mana on this is just crazy. Managing the mana is definitely part of the game. 
All right. They have not discarded any creatures yet. Wedding announcement. What do I do against wedding announcement? I really don't have any destroy en enchantments or anything. I could blood tithe. I could discard a blood tithe harvester so that we could have a target for corpse appraiser. Well, especially because like we need to hit a land. Nope, didn't hit a land. Okay. Hurting myself with the pain lands. Okay. No, no lands. We can pray though, right? We have two black, blue, red, black, black. Okay. They probably have removal for it. Okay, so 2-3 flyer. This enchantment deck is a, is a hard one. I think we lost to it earlier. I haven't seen it a lot when I was playing Mono White. Do we Voltage Surge, or are we going to need to hold on to the Voltage Surge? The Invoke Despair doesn't... Oh, the Invoke Despair does, this, does destroy enchantments. So we can get rid of the Wedding Announcement that way, which is pretty sweet. They get to bring something back. So with the Gonjo, they get to discard something and bring it back to play, which is kind of sketchy. Uh, I think we just play Shieldred here. We're just going to keep hitting ourselves with the Pain Lands. I don't really want to attack because I don't want them to have an opportunity to bring back the um, Modern Age. Yeah, returning the lands is pretty cool. <sighs> okay. Whoa. So I can put one of these into play? Put it onto the battlefield? Yeah, sure. That's great. All right. Spells that you cast with the Chosen cost one less. OK, so that's the type of thing that we're going to Voltage Surge. Enchantment, okay. I don't know. We're just going to do this end of turn, right?
Okay, so <laughs> we don't have enough to do Invoke Despair yet. So we have no, oh no, we still, we have blue that can be done without hurting ourselves. So that's good. Oh no, so we're still hit, still hurting ourselves here. I think we want the land over the fable? Is that crazy? I think we want the land. Oh man, who picked this? <laughs> All right. <laughs> no, I don't hate this song. I don't hate it. It's just not one of my favorites. Okay, so Invoke Despair gets rid of Rin, at least. All right, so one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Do we have five black sources? One, two, three, four, five. Okay, so assuming auto tapper does not screw me, we should be able to get rid of a fair amount of stuff on this round. So first off, we get rid of their enchantment. And then we get rid of their planeswalker, their wedding, and then we're just left with the question mark of how do we deal with the 7-7. Seven, seven. That was a pretty good round. That was a really good invoke to spare, for sure. It's definitely not over, though. I'm not really sure how we beat them, other than maybe Shieldred just kills them. I think we go for the... Cycle. Oh, I think we're just chilling until they die from Shieldred. Oh, cool. That's really nice. That was big, too. That was a big turn. Ooh, flying in lifelink, though. That's a problem.
think that's what I want to do. Oh dear, we're in trouble, aren't we? Do we just die to the flyer? Whew, I'm going to ditch Shieldred to a blood. This feels wrong. Okay, get the voltage surge. Okay, we're gonna we're gonna risk it here. Oh good, they're getting rid of the blood tithe. Um I doubt we're gonna I mean this really isn't gonna be able to kill that, so I think we just cast this and destroy one of these. All right. Lifelink, we need an answer for the lifelink. And then like this thing goes away, right? Okay, that's not particularly good. I really wish I had saved that. It does get smaller. Okay. Like, they're making their lifelinker smaller, which is good for us. We got this. Um, so I can make disappear that because of how they tapped out? It's looking okay. They go to two. Okay, draw a card, discard a card. Children's doing some work. Ah, oh, they got it. They finally got an answer to children. Holy smokes, we've. At least we can draw some with this. Protection from vampires. How interesting. Do I play the swamp? No, I can cast it without hurting myself. And do we have an enchantment? No. But I can make it so that they're at 1 HP, which is pretty good.
If if we if we just need to draw a creature and like their toast. Ha! Ooh, that was a good game. Holy cow. Alright, so... I can't remember if we won or lost against that deck earlier, but that was... That was probably the best Invoke Despair I've ever had. We destroyed a Ren. We destroyed their wedding announcement. Oh my god, it was just... Mm, chef's kiss. So... <clears throat> rank reset just happened. Uh, summary, we're at a 73% win rate with the Grixis mid, despite punting. Um, 11 and 4 on plays and 88% on the draws of 57. So I think that this deck can do it. The Esper midrange deck we've been struggling against. And I'm surprised by that because like that was kind of the deck that this was built to destroy. So that could be variants, we'll see. Um, it did really well against mono black and mono white, and then partially that might be because of my substitutions. I did make the deck more geared towards eliminating aggro um, rather than the Esper midrange matchup. So uh, all in all, though, feels really good. Um, 15 matches for three hours of play, though, way slower wins per hour than playing uh, the aggro decks. So as far as like we got a plus seven for the day, we were getting like plus 11s for the, the days before with the mono white. So I still think aggro is probably the fastest way to climb, but I do think that it is definitely worth checking out. I hope you guys liked my uh, additions instead of what the world champion was running. Voltage Surge over Braid is a quick refresher and uh, soul transfer instead of the duresses. And if we come up against a lot of those those uh, really nasty counter decks, um, then maybe we have too much geared towards eliminating creatures, and we could tweak this to be towards control. I, I was a little bit on the fence between about the make disappear and whether or not we should run an additional Urtai Resurrected, I still don't know which one's the right one. Sometimes I feel like these kind of pancake out, but this is basically like the goal of the deck is to turn to make disappear. So thanks for joining me today. I had a wonderful stream as always. Uh, if you guys want to uh, join my Patreon, you can vote on the next deck. Uh, leave a, a comment on YouTube uh, what you'd like to see next week. It will be the last week of Standard before Brothers War, and then we'll switch gears into Limited. Um, and if you want to come join me on Twitch later this week, I'll be running more of this uh, Grixis midrange deck, as well as playing in the final tournament of the Draft Club tournament on Wednesday. Uh, yeah, 2 p.m. Pacific, Monday through Friday. Catch you all later.